dual review is brought to you by spiderwolf.com. On today's dual review, it's Elder Sign. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. everybody today is the 31st of july we're taking a look at the game elder sign that's right this is a fantasy flight game is it like directly based off of like like a sister game to uh, the arkham horror it's, series? it's literally arkham horror the same the same thing except for there's not a lot of lengthy exploration and all that stuff. right so basically all you really need is several cards and 10 die you have a uh, six green die here hello green die and then a red and a yellow one and then you have a uh, uh, Cards that help with, uh, uh, you have, what are they, common, uncommon uh, items, and then you have spells, and then you have, uh, what are they, allies, I think they're called, allies? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So basically, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to get one of these, and these are your bad guy cards, and there's several of them, based on, uh, obviously, the HP Lovecraft series. Uh, this one happens to be Cthulhu, the big bad guy, and then you have Nyarlathotep. Yeah, I, I just grabbed a couple. There are a whole bunch in the game. Uh, this one is the one that you play... I probably want to see oh, it. It's yeah. kind of hard to see. But anyway, yes. um, th this is the one that allows you to play as more monsters with masks, and we'll get to monsters in a bit. Um, the other part is you grab your persona. I've grabbed right. two that were fairly different. So you're going to grab some random uh, characters. And this, I should say that this is a one to eight player game, and it does scale fairly well. I mean, granted. Dude, I, I love it as a solo game. Yes, it is fun as a solo, um, but you can play up to eight players. Um, so basically, you're going to choose your characters, and each character has a little special ability found right in the corner there. Uh, and what the starting equipment that they have, which is just one of these cards. These out. You have. Well, let me start with the common items. You have common items, which are shown by the gun. Uh, it's the yellow ones. Okay. And then you have the special or unique items, which are the red colored ones with the dagger. You have the spells, as indicated naturally by the book. Hello, book. And those are purple. And then you have the allies, which are brownish orange color. I don't know what color that's. But I guess it's brownish orange. Yeah. And that's got like a little person on there, like a newspaper clipping or something. I don't know what's going on there. Okay. Uh, and then you have this, and then you have the big clock. The clock is kind of important because every midnight, which is over here, hello midnight, every midnight something happens, and depending on the, where are they? Uh, no, these. Didn't we have uh, several taken out? Right here. Oh, no, 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 these, these. You have, uh, sorry, you have location cards, and what you're going to do is put out a grid of six, so you're going to have three uh, in one right. column, three in one column, and three in the other. And then you have the special locations or the otherworldly locations with the green. Oh, the screen is background's not going to help. Sorry, I'm going to do like one of these things so maybe you can see that better. But it's got the green background. And basically, these are otherworldly places that happen in in uh, when conditions are met with some of these. Right. You're looking for a certain logo at the bottom of the card. When you defeat the card, then one of these else world you know cards comes out. Right. And they they are usually ones that are full of elder signs. I'm holding it upside down there. Um, and you're trying to get enough Elder Signs to put the Ancient One, whichever one you're playing against, back to sleep. And these are the little Elder Signs. Well, technically what you're trying to do is prevent him from coming through to our world. But if he does come through, you have a very slim chance of getting him back into his old world. Which I don't really... I mean, the one time that we played where they did come through, we were able to kill him. Yes. So I don't, I don't know how hard it is. I think it becomes more difficult... Um, oh, here they are. They're right here. When you don't cooperate, because the first couple times we played, we didn't really know we could cooperate. Uh, basically, what happens is you pick your agents, and like you said, there are there are the different uh, specials on here. She's really good at Elseworlds, so whatever. I'm her. I'm going to take her little placeholder, little token. Yep. Um, and wherever I go here, I'm going to put my token on there, and I'm going to try to accomplish tasks right. that are on the card to to get the good stuff in the white, and then there's bad stuff in the red if I fail. But each one of these rows is a task, and you have to uh, complete them entirely in order to get the task in one roll. So um, you take a number of dice. You just start off with the basic six, um, but you have other cards, maybe some common items or some uncommon items that allow you to have the yellow and the red die. Unless you have yellow. So whatever one you're going with, if you have a card and you want a red die, okay, so I'm going to go here, and I need to find... Uh, a skull and two scrolls in order to complete this task. So I'm going to roll it, and 
let's say I did not get it. I did get a I did get a, a skull though. So I'm gonna park the skull on me. I'm gonna concentrate on that fact so I can keep it. Right. So I get all the rest of the die minus one because I, every time you fail a task, you get rid of a die. So I'm gonna try again. I need two scrolls and did not get it. So I lose another die. I still got four. So I'm looking okay. But it starts getting more and more like, oh crap, okay, I got one skull, but, or one scroll, but I already have a skull, so I can't hold it. Now, if he was there, maybe I could have him hold it as well. Here's my little place. Uh, and guy. then I only need one more scroll, but I still have to get rid of a dice. And, oh, I got one more chance, and I did not get it. So right. I failed, so I'm going to take two damage and lose two sanity. That That's basically right. the... Uh, the health in the game. Right, so you have, have uh, in, the, in the bottom here, you have damage and rewards. So if you fail this, if you fail to complete each task accordingly, you suffer the damage. But if you win it, you get the stuff in white, which is your victory stuff. Yeah. And if you happen to go to zero on either your stamina or your sanity, right. then you're going to lose this this uh, person, but the cool thing is that you can get another one. You can get another detective or whatever, so you just draw from the pile randomly, take another one. Uh, now the trade-off is they get a doom token on their doom tracker right. here, and that's these little things. And very tiny. if we're doing Cthulhu, you know, uh, he's good for a couple times doom tracker. But then there's these little markers that say that a monster comes out. So right. if the doom tracker covers over that, then you bring out a monster. So where are the monster tokens? The monster tokens. Oh, I don't know. Oh, here's some. Yep, you're right. We did pull. So them out. yeah, I pulled out a couple. So they have little flavor text on the back, which doesn't really mean anything, but it's a nice little touch. Yeah. And if you need to pull out a monster, either by winning a card that has a monster icon on it, or by a condition from the, the Doom cards, right. or by by this, by the Doom Tracker, uh, you will take it and you will look for a card that has a white border. And the white border, you can choose any that have the white border, and you slap it right on there. So they either become an additional task that you need to do, or they cover up an old task, maybe make it more complicated. In this case, it would be less complicated. Um, if you run out of all those white spaces, then they will go onto ones that do not have that space. They just are an additional. Right. So it makes it even harder. And I think technically they go on the bottom. But... At first, it's kind of like, oh, yeah, no, this is no problem. You know, I should be able to do this. But when you start losing die, it's like you have to get a perfect roll yeah. like half the time. So if you have the other uh, investigator there, that, that does definitely help. Um, but it, yeah, it, it's kind of one of like, boy, should I use my spell right now? Because the spell will contain yet another dice, you know, kind of thing. But it locks that dice for the entirety of the game until somebody uses it. So there are these little, little rules. But again, it's really great for solo. It's great for just a couple people. It is fairly fast. I, you know, it's maybe half an hour or so. Oh, yeah, yeah. And especially it, when you know what you're doing. It says like 40 minutes on the box or something. One of the, one of the biggest uh, confusions that we had as far as the... Oh, anyway. the um, Monster tokens was uh, once once they go on. Uh, let's say that it covers one up. Did I just take that one away? Okay, so so the ones that the monsters cover up have a white border, and if it doesn't have any of those, then it goes on at the bottom as an additional task that you must complete, which makes it ridiculously hard. But one of the things that's not really clear on, um, which we later found out, was is if it covers up that th that task, then you don't have to worry about what's below the monster. This just gets added to the task of this card. So as long as you fulfill everything, it goes away, which means that you roll dice, and according to this one, I need a uh, terror, which is the little tentacle thing, and two stamina, and two... Uh, uh, what is the, what's the mind called again? Uh, just stamina, not... Uh, sanity. Know? Sanity, thank you. Sanity is the word I was looking for. So two stamina, two sanity, so that's going to go away. Uh, but I have to also have to ro roll the, uh, the the terror, which there's only one terror on each die. Uh, well, all die except for this. So according, uh, and, according and the red, but the red has an as a, a wild card. Yeah. Kind of thing. Okay. So that's going to go there, and that's just going to stay there. And then we're going to have to get the, the second condition, which is the right. Six. So every time you complete okay. a task, like say I got a skull and two scroll or two scrolls, they get locked there. So now I have to get a terror with the remaining dice. And right. if I just have the green dice, and I only have three, so if I fail once, I only have two, and yada yada. Right. Um, you can get clues throughout the game, which are represented by these little footprints, footprints. that you explain with, and those allow you to re-roll uh, any of the dice that you just rolled right. once. So instead of giving away a dice because I failed, I could at least you know try with one more dice, didn't get it, you know, kind of thing. So then I lose it. Yeah. Um, the cards also have these uh, qualification or you know little things like this one has a terror. So if you roll a terror without completing a task. Um, then you have to suffer this effect. Right. So discard all terror dice. So that sucks. If you roll two terrors and don't complete a task, then you lose two dice immediately. Um, and then there are also things like, well, yeah, the midnight effect, which if you get to midnight and this one's still in play, 
then this goes into effect. This one is every investigator loses one stamina. Oh. And then there's also cards like this, which lock dice. And this one yes. sucks. There are there are locks for green, yellow, and red dice. I didn't think there was green until the last time I played, and there was a green on there. Yep. Uh, so you, you literally, it's locked on there. So until this is defeated, that dice cannot be used whether you have a card that allows you to use it or not. It sucks. It's locked. So yeah, it is really difficult. Now, um, these territories are also worth difference, uh, different points. And this one's worth two, this one's worth one, most of the monsters are worth one, but you add them up and uh, up to ten, and you can get an Elder Sign. Right. Or, what is it, five? And well, you, you, can... need, you need four, and then you can fill up your Sanity and your Stamina to full. Two can fill, I think, just one. So it kind of, they kind of count as currency in the game. Yes. Um, so yes, very straightforward. Once you've played a couple rounds, it's not a problem. The first couple rounds for us were like, I'm not sure if we're supposed to do this or not. Like, right. like the whole, if you're with me, can I focus on you? Because that seems, you know, whatever. And uh, it was harder without doing that. So I kind of almost want to say you can't do that. But it, it's almost necessary in some, some yes, cases. Yes. So. And that's what I was going to say as far as, you know, playing with eight characters. If you have eight people on the same card, then that game, that should be very easy because you can just... Well, yeah, but at the same time, the time. We, we talked about this. And every time it goes to midnight, now everybody's turn, it's right. just the three, six, nine, and twelve. Right. So having the numbers in between is superfluous, but it's so supposed to look like So if there's eight of you, so. one round is going to be two midnights. Yes. So it it does really scale that way, and because and because if you die, you get an extra you know doom tracker. Yep, that's the uh, It does have a penalty. Now the only thing that I would say is that when there are so many of you, it's going to take a lot longer for someone to die. True. So and then you could also park all on the same card. And that's that would what be I was saying. Really easily, but yeah. But so whatever. I think two to four is really how it should be played, or one one to four. Yeah, is yeah. It really Agreed. should be played. So yes, a far quicker than than Arkham Asylum, but it does scratch the same itch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah, that that one's fun. It's a fun game, Arkham Asylum. It's just yeah, it's very long. And it's really hard to get into to play. It's it's hard for me to want to play because it just it's such an investment. Yeah. This one is just kind of a quick thing. It's a it's a dice roll. I do f wish that you felt a little more like you were fighting monsters when there are monsters on here. Um, right, as opposed to just completing tasks. Yeah, pretty dice. much I wish that they each had a consequence or benefit, depending right. on whatever. And some of them do, actually. Some of the costs, um, we don't have any of them here, but some of the costs to some of these cards, there will be like, you have to roll skull, and then you have to lose a stamina or a sanity as well. Oh, there were some of those. So if you, so if you, if you complete one task and lose a sanity, and then say the, the penalty for losing it altogether is another sanity if you only have two sanity you're you're probably going to die you know kind of thing so right. you have to really figure out and more often than not you'll want to go after ones with elder signs right away especially the more the better yeah but, uh, but you have to kind of take it slow because you need to build up your collection I, of unique items yeah. and stuff that you can actually manage to fight the heavier ones and the allies are fun you know getting a tommy gun or whatever is kind of fun it just yeah. lets you get more dive it, it basically boils down to like three different things you can heal yourself you can, you know, get extra dice to fight, or you can, you know, get some kind of benefit for fighting this type of, you know, whatever. Right. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. If, you, if you're really looking for, like, a tutorial, like a playthrough, uh, actually Tabletop with, you know, what's his name? Uh, Will Wheaton. Yes, Will Wheaton. Is actually, they have a really good kind of playthrough of it. And there was one question that I had that they actually answered on there uh, later in the game. So, yes, that that's a good one for, for tutorial. So, now I guess we've spent way too much time on, on the stuff so how do we feel about this game i have every time we play it i have a lot of fun um it's just it, it, it's simple but it is fun and you do have the lore and i love reading the little text and yeah. stuff it's just so much it's so cool i mean unfortunately when we played cthulhu he was a little too easy but that might have just been the conditions that we were under you know maybe our luck was in favor that time yeah it, it's it's just a fun game i you know i how would i rate it as far as arkham horror goes I think I would like this one. I, I like this one just a little bit more because Har Arkham Horror is a little more excessive, and you have to dedicate a certain amount of time to. And unfortunately, we don't have a lot of time. Yeah, it's like so four hours. I mean, you yeah. know, three hours, yeah. but still a long time. And plus, we have to find friends who want to play. Like for example, uh, this Saturday we're going to play Descent because a group of people want to play, and we're allotting time to play that. So if people want to play Arkham uh, uh, Horror, then maybe it'd be up there with us. But since but since we not we don't know too many people, Elder Sign is. Yeah, and I think fine. I think that like Descent has different scenarios and right. things like that, so it makes it a little bit easier to get people together to commit that kind of time. Plus, it has bookends, right? Yes. You complete one mission and then you can stop and pick it up next time. You run a tally and whatever. Arkham Horror really needs to be played in one setting. So, so I really like Elder Sign. I really like it. There's one major expansion right now that I know of. Um, so this is you know fairly young. I'm sure there'll be plenty more 
and I do, I really enjoy it. Right, the, the, I guess I didn't mention that, but this game came out in 2011. Uh, did I say Fantasy Flight? I'm sure I did. Yeah. Yeah. Art is beautiful. Yes, I love the art. Yeah, it's it's got that cool, creepy, you know, nostalgic kind of thing going on, 30s, you know, kind of Yeah, 30s. yeah. It's awesome. Did we talk about the Doom cards? I mean, we yeah, touched we did a little upon bit. them. Yeah, um, when Doom cards come out... And when it hits midnight. When it hits midnight, a new Doom card comes out, they have an immediate effect and then a long-term effect. Some well, sometimes. Them, some of them don't, but yeah, they have one one portion you read right away, and then the other portion you read, it either takes... It takes uh, affect the entirety of your next you know couple turns until the next midnight or it just lays dormant until midnight strikes and then you suffer it right kind of thing so there is a lot of variety just in the the few things and again really straightforward so once you play it once uh you'll have no problem yeah it's, it's easy it's great and there are some moments where you're like oh son of a bitch you Dude, know and sometimes luck is not on your side and sometimes it is yeah so it's a great mix um i don't think i've played a lot of dice games that i like quite as much as this so it's a lot of fun yeah all right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our great playlists. Uh, Game Labs has been a lot of fun. Yes, it has, and please leave comments. We love comments, and you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, car game, art print shirts, stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we, so find us and friend us, and if I'm online, I'll chat with you. That's right. We're also both blogging. Uh, you can follow me, fisk37.tumblr.com. Blogging as characters, releasing character sheets, uh, letting people into the world I've created over the 10 plus years. Uh, so, so I'm getting out there just little by little. Uh, please take a look if you like it. Uh, share it, support it, leave comments. And my Tumblr is uh, nicholasbach.tumblr.com and I'm just throwing out everything that I've ever written. Uh, short stories, poetry, and uh, uh, you know whatever else. Uh, some of them are like little journal entries, but I think I'm not going to put those out just yet. So yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks. See ya. Mm -hmm. Mike, look, dude. Okay. I'm getting serious now. Our anime this week is Blade of the Phantom Master. It's the last day of July, and we're taking a look at a great little... I don't know what to call it. Dice game? Dice and card game? Dice and card game. Hey everybody, it's the last day of July and we're taking a look at Elder Sign, a little card dice game. No, I don't want to say a little. I'll just say Elder Sign. How about that? Okay. Yeah, maybe you should get a new gun. Yeah, Maybe it's I not that time. How much were these? Maybe like $8? No, they were more than that. Like 10 or 12. Bullshit. Bye! What did I do with the big decks? I kind of want to play it right now. Yeah. Screw this dual review stuff. Oh, okay. If anybody would be interested in us, you know, like, actually playing games and watching, like, doing a tutorial series, uh, let us know in the comments. Yeah, 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 We're, we've been thinking about doing tutorials, but... It's just, you know, it is a lot more work, so... Yes. Unless we have a demand for it. Cool. Considering that I have to edit every single one. Absolutely every single one. I could start to help. No, I don't think you can. And you remember when I showed you the process of editing and you, like, checked out after two minutes. You don't remember that? No. It was in our infancy, so I guess I'm not surprised. I remember it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.